Hello, Alex here there. This is the captain of Finding Avalon. This island's got my name written all over it. The gas, there was nothing I could do. I drove a little fast, collided into you. The sky was open. Welcome back to Finding Avalon. So, last week we were joined by Jackson's best friend Mitch, and we took him on a sailing adventure around the Ionian Islands of Greece. As we left the island of Lefkada, headed for Zanti, we were confronted with some fairly crazy weather. The storm was just not letting up, so we were forced to make an impromptu stop on the island of Kefalonia. Only just by whisker, and we we're in a rather sheltered anchorage. I say rather, not completely. And the anchor seems to have set quite well, got the anchor alarm on a very tight radius. And we're embracing this, we're really enjoying the coziness of it all. Drinking some red wine with Mitchell, and we're cooking a curry. We've got a coconut and sweet potato, and um, I think I'm gonna put some, yeah, chickpeas in it situation and the boys are having beef in theirs I'm just gonna go veggie and um, we're gonna play some cards and snuggle on down oh yeah the captain's um fixing stuff as usual but like he's trying to have a last one last go at the batteries we think we've made a breakthrough so yeah cozy nights on Avalon you bolts of thunder. Oh, the next day felt like a whole new world and we were blessed with excellent sailing conditions all the way to Zanti. our destination the breeze completely died off so we packed the sails away and actually made a breakthrough and enjoyed life with the motor on. There really is true serenity and peacefulness to be experienced on the bow with no sails. And we soaked up a cracking sunset as we headed into the island. I woke up before the boys in the famous Turtle Bay and took the chance to do a sneaky bit of editing. We stuck around just long enough to find a turtle, but not too long to become disturbed by the plethora of day trippers. at the more well-known tourist spots of Zanti really are no joke. But by sailboat, you really don't have to go far to discover untouched pieces of heaven.
day, we woke up even before the moon had had a chance to hide away to explore the famous Shipwreck Bay. Still wearing our pyjamas, we dropped anchor and reveled in the fact that we were the first ones there, save for the two boats that spent the night there. Shipwreck Bay, the famous Shipwreck Bay on Zanti. Can I just say, this island's got my name written all over it. There are already some boats here, they spent the night here. One there, and one very close to the shore. I just can't believe they would have had a horrible night's sleep. Like, look how much this is rocking. They would have had a horrible night's sleep, all in the name of sleeping next to an Instagram icon of a place. Pretty cool though. So we heard a massive crash bang wallop on transit and we can really work out what it was and then I've just worked out it was actually the drone falling down. So it was on charge so we've got to wait about 20 minutes for that to finish charging. So Mitch is going to make a coffee and hopefully, hopefully we don't get joined by any day trippers before then. It was Mitchell's last night with us and he took us out for a slap up meal to say thank you. Mitchell was rather taken by the beauty of the gorgeous Greek dancer lady that night. dancers had put on a fabulous performance it was our turn to give it a crack and also Mitchell's chance to pursue his lady <laughs> Sadly, Mitchell didn't get the girl this time, but definitely a night that none of us will forget. Hello YouTube, what is up? Today I'm speaking to you from the port of Zakynthos because we are preparing for our 
long passage. It is 300 nautical miles from here to Malta, which on our boat normally takes three days, but you need to add about 20% contingency onto that. So I'm gonna say nearly four days. Before a long passage, what we normally do is stay at a port. We don't normally like to stay at ports, as you know, but it's quite essential in the way that we have the boat at the moment. We don't actually have our own means of power yet and same with water. So we're sorting that out today. Jackson's at the marine shop, trying to fix all the things that broke that we'll need when we're away. Um, I'm going to the supermarché to get all the provisions and um, need a, a new light bulb and batteries for the life boy, Dan boy, who makes sure our safety equipment is all in check because anything can happen out there. It's a pretty scary prospect. And um, yeah, then I'm gonna go back, do a heap of laundry. And at the supermarket, we're just gonna get a bunch of the stuff that we would normally eat and then some really kind of quick and easy grab stuff because if it's gonna blow 40 knots for three days, you can't really cook. So I'm gonna have to get a bit creative with that. I'm gonna pre-make some sandwiches. We stowed everything away for passage, completed a few last minute jobs, and Jackson had his last gyros. Gyros of Greece, and it's possibly the best one I've had. My, how lovely, I adore you. From Rocky Mountains to the deep blue. All we had left to do was check out of the country. If only it really was that easy. No love. I guess customs is closed on Sunday. That's the Greek way, isn't it? That is the Greek way. No, you cannot leave today. It's the Sabbath. How dare you even think about leaving Greece? Oh no. Well, I guess. On the bright side, you can have another gyros before we leave. It's true. Breakfast gyros. Hello, Alex here there. This is the captain of Finding Avalon. Captain, can you repeat the name of the boat? Finding Avalon. Yes, captain. Uh, are you able to help us? Because the customs office is closed and we wish to check out. All right, Captain, give me a minute. I'm on the beginning. Thank you. We'll meet you at the boat. All the papers, you just print all the documents. You're going to give me a book. I'm going to make a photo and I'm going to turn everything to the... Okay, that's awesome. Thank you so much. That's Great. amazing. We did, we're leaving Greece. Yeah. In a uh, unauthenticated way. Yeah, it was all pretty dodgy, wasn't it? Our um, service guy, Alex, just suddenly decided that if we gave him 10 euros, he'd be an immigration agent. And uh, yeah, so that's done. Sorry, we're just looking at the sails. Just hit by a little wave. And we're on our way out. And we are bang on schedule. We said we wanted to leave this time on this day so that we could try and meet my parents in Malta. And um, the weather looks very clement. So, I mean, I know we're fools to think that it's anything, it's going to turn out anything like we think it is. But we're really hopeful this time that it's not gonna be like it was last time. Yeah. <laughs> Got a good feeling about it. We've, uh, we used the Commander's Weather company Dude, yeah. and they've given us a really nice four day forecast. Yeah, we don't have our sat phone yet, so 
were picking that up in Malta. My mum and dad have brought it over. Yeah, so this whole immigration port authority thing. Oh, it's just ridiculous. Like, every country you go to has a different system. Yeah, it's, it's like a comedy skit. It's like a pantomime show. Every, like, every Some countries you make you go to police and then customs and then port police. And you walk in there and there's always there's always about four of them in there and they're all sitting watching telly and then they you walk in the door and they give you this look like it's like this wait this is this is the telly up here and then you feel like you're in the wrong place and then they're just kind of prompting you to tell them what to do the whole thing. 